This is John Black, Breaking Mad. We're here to make uh, or talk about how to make um, methylamine from hexamine. I did a video where I tell you how to buy hexamine and get it nice and pure. Um, you can see from the equation up here, if you take hexamine and you hydrolyze it with some HCl, it's going to break down into six moles of formaldehyde and four moles of ammonia. Now, if you have four moles of HCl in that solution, then the ammonia and the hydrochloric acid will react to make ammonium chloride. So you have four ammonium chlorides and six formaldehydes. And that is pretty much a good reaction to make methylamine. You can see how it goes over to the left and the bottom there. And there's a picture of a methylamine hydrochloride uh, molecule. And I don't know if people understand this or not, so I'm going to bring it up about the uh, HCl uh, and what this means when this is a salt. You know, most times when you have a bond, uh, you know, like this bond between the nitrogen and the hydrogen, one of the electrons comes from the nitrogen, one comes from the hydrogen. You know, same with this methylamine. One comes from, I mean, methyl group. One comes from the methyl group, one comes from the nitrogen. This bond, one comes from the hydrogen, one comes... But... This is a dative bond that forms a coordination complex, okay? It makes an ammonium salt, or in this case, a methyl ammonium salt, right? Both uh, lone pair, both electrons are donated by the nitrogen. None are donated by the hydrogen. It's kind of just almost on there, you know what I mean? And that forms a salt. The salt is soluble in polar stuff like water, and then if you... You know, you freebase this to get the HCl off of there, right, to neutralize that HCl, and it goes back to just methylamine. That's soluble in nonpolar stuff. Now, I want you to notice the difference between methyl ammonium chloride or methylamine hydrochloride and ammonium chloride. It's just this. The, this, this is ammonium chloride. They took a hydrogen off, and they put a methyl group on. That's the only difference. The HCl links up the same way with this data bomb with a coordination complex. And when you separate, this would be a chloride anion, and this over here would be your NH4 cation. Okay, so how do you make it? First of all, you're gonna dissolve some hexamine and 40 grams, and the 40 grams of ammonium chloride, it's kind of uh, debatable. I'm gonna put it in, I think, you know, if you don't put it in, it won't kill you, but it would be better if you did add it. Um, the hexamine, 40 grams of ammonium chloride, into 200 milliliters of water. And it will dissolve. If you have to stir it or wait a while, heat it up, whatever, get it dissolved in there. Then put that hexamine solution and 400 milliliters of hydrochloric acid together in a round bottom flask that's already set up for uh, distillation. Make sure it's a two-neck flask so you can put a thermometer in there. Uh, basically, just bring up the temperature slowly to 104 C. And I don't mean the still head. I mean the round bottom flask itself. And distill out whatever comes out. It may take four or five hours, um, but just keep distilling until nothing comes out, and then you're done. Uh, the hexamine, one mole is 140.18 grams, 186 grams, and that's how much I used in this exper in the experiment we're talking about. The excess of, remember, the 40 grams, both of those dissolved in 200 milliliters. The HCl acid would be whatever you got at the store, whatever low sells. It's usually 32%. <coughs> Use 400 milliliters. That'd be four moles of HCl. Almost, you know, approximately a little bit more than than four moles actually, but that's good enough. Um, like I said, you just heat it up to 104 C until it nothing else distills over. What's going to come over during that time? All right, so you're going to have it at 104. You're going to distill out some methyl formate, formic acid, methoxy methane, and you're going to keep distilling until no more distillate comes over at 104 C. At that point, you turn off the heat, cool down the pot. Once it gets cool enough, put it in the freezer, the refrigerator, you know what I mean, cool it down all the way. 
and you'll see some precip of ammonium chloride. So filter that out. <clears throat> then boil or distill down, you know what I mean? If you want to contain your vapors, you don't have a fume hood, you might want to distill it out. Uh, but anyways, boil it down to half its original volume. And then, of course, you're going to have more precip of ammonium chloride. Cool it down, put it in the freezer, and filter that out. Now, here's where I'm getting kind of hazy here. Uh, boil down the liquid to filter it uh, as far down as you can. You know what I mean? You don't want to break your glass once it gets a lot of the liquid out and you have a lot of solids you might want to just use you know uh, warm heat to evaporate the rest of the liquid off once you have it pretty much down to a uh, you know where it's kind of dry it's not you know there's not a lot of liquid in there then you want to throw some chloroform in okay and you might say how much will you know it depends you just want to make it so you you know all your solids are covered you know what I mean and you can stir it up <clears throat> if you have that much then you're good you know what I mean uh, stir it up let it sit for 20 minutes or something the whole deal with that is is that uh, dimethylamine is soluble in the chloroform so it will dissolve whereas your product methylamine is not soluble in chloroform so it will stay a solid then you can filter out uh, your the solids that remain which will be mainly methylamine with some a little bit of ammonium chloride in there so you want to dissolve that solids in 250 milliliters of dry ethanol and heat it up a little bit you know what I mean stir it you want to make sure it's all dissolved which you you know your product what isn't dissolved filter it out it's ammonium chloride um, then boil the uh, ethanol right boil it up make sure it's all dissolved and uh, then recrystal, you know, recrystallize your methylamine from the uh, ethanol, and then filter it out, and you can dry it under a vacuum or whatever. But you know, when you filter it, right, your product methylamine hydrochloride is going to stay in the filter, and the liquid is going to go through. You can take that liquid and recrystallize it again, okay? You got to recrystallize at least four or five times to get all the methylamine out, or you know, a good bit of it. Now, what is your yield going to be? I don't know. I never done the experiment. My guess would be that you would get about a sixty to seventy percent yield. I would hope a seventy. Anyways, that's my guess. Like I said, I've never done this reaction. Uh, I have made methylamine maybe two or three times from formaldehyde and ammonium chloride. Although that was like 10, 20 years ago, you know what I mean? That was a long time ago. I don't, you know. This is what I'm saying, though. Take it or leave it. You enjoy. Have a great day. And remember, science is great.